Welcome to Salad NHS Trust's Academy for Research and Improvement. In this video, we're going to look at quality improvement in healthcare. Firstly, what do we mean by quality improvement in healthcare? Put simply, this means our staff working with patients, carers and the community to make things better for everyone. When we help our staff to make things better, we start by asking three questions. What are we trying to accomplish? By this we mean, what do we want to improve? How will we know that change has led to improvement? What information do we need to collect so that we know we've made things better? What changes can we make that will result in an improvement? We need to think of ideas to try and test. We make sure that we are including the views and contribution of those that use our services in all of these questions. When we have decided which ideas we want to test, we plan a change, do the change, study what happened when we made the change, act on what we have found, did it work or do we need to make more changes? This plan, do, study, act is called a PDSA cycle and we use PDSA cycles to safely test our ideas for change. Asking these three questions and testing changes with the cycle is known as the model for improvement. Now, let's see how this could improve a situation that happens each day in the NHS. Some of our staff were concerned about the number of patients who were not attending their appointments. We helped our staff by using the model for improvement and asked them, what are they trying to accomplish? We wanted to reduce the number of patients who didn't attend their appointment. How will they know that changes led to improvement? We collected information on the number of missed appointments so that we would know if things were better by making changes. What changes can they make that will result in an improvement? We introduced text reminders for patients. So, for the first PDSA cycle, we planned to send a text message reminder seven days before the appointment. The text reminder was sent to patients and the number of patients who did not attend their appointment was reduced, but not as much as we wanted. Listening to feedback from patients, we wondered if sending an additional text reminder closer to the appointment would work better. For the second PDSA cycle, we planned to send an additional text reminder. We sent the additional text 24 hours before the appointment, and the number of patients who did not attend their appointment was further reduced. So, we decided to continue sending two text reminders, one seven days before, and another 24 hours before the appointment. In summary, this is the model for improvement. Always ask these three questions. We use PDSA to plan and study changes and we will continue to run cycles until we've made things better. For more information, resources and case studies please visit the Join In Patient Toolkit on the Academy website.